I've been living without an outfeed table on my table saw for a few months now, and it's pretty annoying to work. Uh, it's a lot safer to have something on the backside there. So I'm using this extra support table from my table saw uh, to turn it into an outfeed table. So first I'm just gonna mark out some trenches for the miter gauge slots. I'm gonna mark that depth too to make sure that I get deep enough. And then I'm just gonna make a series of cuts with the table saw to take the bulk of that material out. So it's accurate and easy and it makes a lot less mess than just using a router straight off the bat. This top is a composite top, so I think it's MDF underneath, like a, an HPL or some sort of coating. You can see here with all those curves, I just have to know all that stuff out. And then I'm gonna use a template bit to clean up the bottom of the hole. And with the top done, I'm just gonna make a simple support leg, no storage or anything, nothing fancy. I'm gonna use Festool connectors so that if I ever need to redo it or take it apart, it's super simple. So just using the Festool domino, I cut the, the slots for that. And then for the bottom of the legs, I'm gonna add some adjustable feet. And I didn't have the right threaded insert, so I'm just gonna kinda improv a way to use the nuts that came with these feet to put those together. So this is the hardware of the Festool connectors. They have little wedging screws that when it when you tighten them down, that wedges the pieces together. So this is the, the leg side, those twist into place and anchor into the leg. And then on the rail side, the these little nuts go in, line up with the hole, and then that post goes into that little spot. And as you tighten them down, again, they tighten up that, that wedge shape of the little screw puts them together. Very easy to put together. And then that really shows it getting sucked in together. Easy enough. And then for the adjustable feet, that slot going perpendicular to the first hole just allows me to slide in that in there. And while that's not straight, it's gonna work great for this. I'm just gonna add this then, a couple structural screws into that to get it roughly fit. And if I need to adjust those feet at all, I can. The thickness of this outfeed table is almost exactly on, but it needed just a little bit of extra. And what I'm gonna do here first is I add that little strip so that I can slide this outfeed table on and off if I need to. And then that little piece of veneer just wedges it up so that it's just slightly below the the table saw. You can see there's much more table there, much more secure. Really big improvement. 